crack your Mavic Pro and you're having trouble with the Dumbledore tool, so what do you do? Quite simple, you download a jar tool from this here, uh, github.com, Cunning Logic, Dumb Erasers releases. The two versions currently there, one supports the DJI goggles, the other one doesn't. Once you've downloaded that, just by simply clicking on this link here, it'll ask you to save file. Just click on save. While that's doing that, we're going to do this to DOS. Now, not many people are familiar with the term DOS, so uh, I'm going to just tell you how to get to it basically. If you're on Windows 10 like me, you can just right click the start menu and you'll see here you've got command prompt and command prompt admin. If you are a Windows 7 or XP, do control and escape on your keyboard. In the box here, just type CMD. It takes you to the same thing. Okay, once you've got that up, you need to create a folder that you're going to copy it into. Now, some people have trouble with the root and getting back to dealing with DOS. So the easiest thing to do, we're going to type CD and a backslash. That should take you back to just the C prompt. Okay, simple as that. CD backslash as shown there. Now then, type MD space, and we're going to call it uh, Flash Jar, like that. Press Enter. That's created a directory called Flash Jar on the C drive. Go back to your Windows Explorer, uh, your Internet Explorer. Click on the download. Up here, you'll see what you downloaded. Click the little icon there. And you'll see it's here now. All you need to do. is do a control and C on your keyboard, go across to C, find the file and here you just created the folder called flash jar, should be on here somewhere, there it is, and then do control and V, and that will paste that into there. Okay, you can now close out that and close out your Internet Explorer, you don't need that for a second. Okay, back here, type in CD space flash jar what you call the folder by the way is entirely up to you i've just called it flash jar so i know where i'm going to so cd space flash jar press enter if you do a dir and enter you'll see there dumb eraser jar go back to the explorer and up here is a link for the mavic pilots forum it's page 40 you're looking for and post number 785 you'll see these here by halloween hamster replying to myself this is the command you need to run so you need to copy that, so hold down your left shift and drag across. Once you've done that, right click, choose copy. I'll do that again. Put your mouse at the end, hold down your left shift key, drag across, then right click and choose copy. Now go back to your DOS box. Now in Windows 10, to paste into DOS, you simply hit the right shift key and it pastes it in. If that doesn't work for you, put your mouse at the top of the screen, right click, edit, and then go into paste. This is the command that's going to run, and I've got the camera showing the Mavic at the moment, as you can see. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard now. This is now going to run the anti-rollback. Comes with all the normal uh, messages. Bear in mind, I'm not responsible for this software. This is all done by uh, Jar Racer, the uh, GitHub modders, etc., etc. Now it's showing up, it says choose target port, and it's now lit up with the number one, and you can see there, DJI USB virtual COM port, that's the one we're going to use. So just simply type one and press enter on your keyboard, and it's going to send the upgrade command to your Mavic. It's uploading payload one, Now you need to watch the lights on the Mavic itself. It says exploiting, you can now see the lights on the legs start to flash. That shows the exploit is running fine. This is a new version of the jar tool. There was an earlier version uh, which had a uh, different output when it was running. This is a new updated version which I'm told is, as a, is a lot better uh, as the instructions will tell you when you read them through on the web page for it. It just says basically it's added uh, root, it's made it quicker, easier, rewritten it all. I want to thank Jay Racer uh, for this uh, absolutely fantastic tool. I failed with Dumbledore, which is why I swapped to trying this uh, jar method instead. Okay, we, you won race one, taking a breather for 10 seconds. So am I.
Okay, sending the upgrade command now. Again, watch the legs, uh, lead bulbs. Uploading payload two. It's exploiting, so the leads should now start to flash again. There you go, leads are flashing, shows it's in use. Uh, you are in the lead. Red lights are still flashing. What you're looking for is a set of dots to appear across the bottom of the screen. I've been told if they don't appear, uh, to close out the DOS box and start the procedure again. There we go, we've got the dots and it's finished. It looks like you won. Reboot the target advice, uh, device. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to power off the Mavic. I can tell you now, it's very important that you power off the Mavic. If you don't, this won't work. That's it for the DOS side of things. So we're going to close out that DOS box. We don't need it anymore. And I'm going to minimise that down. So the next thing you want to do now, obviously, is to flash the firmware. Now, hopefully, you should just be able to follow... Uh, dig that's guide uh, but I'll just take you through it quickly turn your quad back on get the quad boot up once it boots up find Dumbledore you want the new version 2.12 click on load firmware and find the firmware you want to load. Now you have to use the 01040000 file. You can't just downgrade straight to 700 from uh, the 0100. You have to go through the 0000 file. Once you've done that, click on open. And then click on flash firmware. Now you'll get the anti-rollback question, do you want to use latest anti-rollback? You've only done that, so you do not need to click yes, you can just click no. And it says the firmware file was sent to the device, okay, so let's click okay. What I'll do is I'll just fast forward this part of the video. Okay, close out the tools, we don't need those. Go to the Mavic Pro. Now sometimes you have to just click in and out. Sometimes it'll go straight to the updating section. And other times it may you may have to sort of go in and out of the Assistant 2 program. I'll just fast Okay, at 64%, uh, you'll notice now the quad's making all kinds of beep-beep noises. Um, this is now probably going to jump to 100%, and the upgrade isn't going to go through. This has happened to me on the couple of occasions where I've tested this out. Let's just see if it reaches the 100. What you're looking for is for the Mavic to restart itself, how you fully power off, power back on again. Now you'll see it says update complete. If we go back, still showing as 0104. Just come out of it altogether. We'll go back in again. There we go. It's still showing that firmware. So all we need to do is to close out assistant software again and launch Dumbledore for the second time. Click on load firmware, make sure you choose the right one. Click on open, then click on flash firmware. You don't need to use the anti rollback method, click no, click OK. I'll There we go, it's updating again now. Now this time it should reach the full 100% and actually upgrade, uh, downgrade to the version you want. 
I've now done this at least well, four times making this video, uh, playing with it and practicing. And I can say you now it never upgrades fully or correctly on the first time you do it. So don't be disheartened if it stops at 64%, if it stops at any number and then goes straight to 100. Like I said, just simply run Dumbledore for a second time and go through the flashing procedure. Okay, so it's now reached 100%. Hopefully now the Mavic is going to power cycle. There you go, camera's gone limp. That's what you're looking for to say it has fully downgraded to one zero four zero 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 or zero 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 zero, whichever one I had. Wait for the assistant to reconnect. There we go. Click on back. And you'll now see when it refreshes. We're now back to oh one oh four zero 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 zero. So that's it, that's how you use the Jard tool and to uh, flash your Mavic down to the lower version. You're now free now to downgrade to the 0700 if you want to, or use the mix and match software. I will just point out, if you notice I'm using this white cable, I did try this black one earlier and it failed you know, to even flash back to the original version. So if you are having problems, um, try changing your cable. And that's it, thank you very much for watching, hope it all works for you.